will happen. This is literally just a vibration. What is going on YouTube? I am back with another video, you guys. And if you know, or you can tell I have been racing. I have taken out all of my seats, put my race seat in, had my race fuel. Tires are in here, obviously. You can even see the big tires back there in the back, you guys. Yes, I stripped my car, but there is one thing I never take out of my car. That is my car lock, GPS, and car alarm system, you guys. That is what this video is about. We're gonna be talking about how to protect your Mopar. This is the best investment you can make for your Dodge Challenger or Charger. Let's get into it. So before I take a deep dive, all right, in what this actual system does, if you have not checked out my video of people trying to steal my car, this is the exact reason why I invest into car lock and why I have it in my car. Yes, I would say about a month ago, I had people try to steal the 1320 um, from a parking garage that is gated, monitored, all sorts of stuff. So all of that stuff doesn't matter. Um, so having great protection on your car is key, you guys. And we're gonna dive into what this actually does, how much I'm gonna be saving you guys. You guys are gonna be able to get 10% off on Amazon and the actual car lock website by using code CLTTORO704. I will drop all of that in the description and on the screen. And then you can also get a 14 day free subscription using code TORO704. Yes, you buy the actual part and then you have a subscription for the app, etc. We'll dive into that, you guys. It is literally the best investment you can make. I am saving you guys a bunch of money, man. So make sure you check out the car lock. I obviously use my code for everything. I'll drop it all below, but let's dive in to what this piece actually is. All right, you guys, car lock is a simple OBD port plug-in, all right? And instantly, I know you guys are gonna be like, well, if somebody tries to steal the car, they're just gonna take it out, right? I have two solutions for that, and I'm kind of premature, but one, it'll automatically send you a notification if it does disconnect, no matter if you are locked or not. And two, I'm gonna show you how I actually hide my device. Now again, it is the OBD port, and if you guys know where the OBD port is, all right, it is right next to your parking brake, and I'm gonna show you how I ended up hiding mine and made it worth it. So, number one, you can use their extension cable, all right? You can actually plug it into your OBD port and hide the actual cable, or, you guys know my car is tuned and set up for a bunch of different things. So I actually, and I'm not, I am not telling you to break your car, right? But it just worked for me. I've snapped off the piece that held, that holds my OBD port. So yes, my OBD port hangs, right? But the reason I did so is what I'm about to show you. So what you can see, again, my OBD port hangs, okay? Reason being is when I went to plug in my computer and ride with my computer for different tuning capabilities, all sorts of stuff, I realized that the wire needed to be fit a certain way and it needed to be out of my way, obviously, of the brake and uh, the gas pedal here. So what I'm gonna do is plug this in and you can see that obviously if I have it plugged in here, it would just kind of dangle down here. I'm gonna show you how well I can hide this. And literally, it's gone, right? That is the reason I ended up taking that piece off, all right? And the reason I did that is I believe in out of sight, out of sight, out of mind. If you just had it kind of sitting right here, automatically they're just gonna unplug it to see what it is and why it's there, right? So I actually hid mine and it's sitting right behind there, you guys. Um, and all I did was break off the piece that holds it. Again, I'm not telling you to break it, but that is where we're gonna start. All right, you guys, we're gonna discuss the four main features of your car lock device. This is the best peace of mind you can purchase for your Mopar, you guys. Um, then we'll dive into the app and all of the full functional capabilities that it has. And I'm gonna show you how well this device actually works. What will happen? This is literally just a vibration. All right, you guys, your four main functions of the device to protect your Mopar, all right, is one, your engine is started. Two, a vibration is detected. Three, the device is disconnected. Or four, your car moves, all right? And we're gonna show you all four and how well they actually work, you guys, um, because my device is plugged in. Again, you can see, been racing a little bit. And again, you guys use my code, Toro704, for 14 days free subscription and CLT Toro704 for 10% off your actual car lock device. But let's get into showing you those four and then I'll dive into the app.
what will happen. You guys, you can see it's literally in the matter of seconds that it will send you a notification. Now this goes for if somebody breaks glass, slams your door too hard. You can even shake the car and I'll show you that here shortly and it will still go off. Now this is number one vibration detection and look how fast it shows up. Now the next thing we're gonna do is start the car, right? That's one of the biggest things that happens they find a way to program your key. And if you watched my video, again, I played a few clips earlier in this video, you can see they can really program a key and walk off with your car, right? So it's big that car lock does this, right? So we're gonna start the car. And it will send me a notification just like that, right? Critical, your car has started, right? That would literally wake you up and you would run to your car and you could literally save your Mopar from being stolen. Again, just by starting it and it also sent me a notification of vibration as well, but the critical alerts always take over. That is literally that fast, you guys. So it can literally save your Mopar. Make sure you invest in the best peace of mind for your car. Now, the next one is probably one of the ones that you first thought of when you saw that the car lock device is an OBD port plug-in. It's, well, what if the thief just disconnects it? What am I gonna do, right? Number one, it will send you a critical alert. Two, it literally logs everywhere you go, and we'll dive into that when I show you guys the app. So what I'm gonna do is actually disconnect my OBD, and you're gonna see that I get a notification instantly. I took the device out. Device disconnected, you guys. That fast. Now, I said it previously, you do have a GPS monitoring system on your car lock device, right? One of them is if your vehicle moves, all right? We have gone over three of the four, so I now have to move the vehicle. I now have it in drive. I believe I have it on the small circle instead of normal. I need to get away from where I am, right? My device is locked. My device is re-plugged back in, and we are going to, look, turn my parking brake off, you guys. Um, we're gonna move the vehicle, right? And once we do that, all right, with, with the device locked, right? Like I said, you guys, vehicle has moved. You can see it is going crazy right now. So now that you guys have seen the four main functions of the device, we are now gonna go in to the actual app and show you everything that it does because there are some bonus features that you're gonna wanna check out and it makes it all worth the cost of the actual system. Now, again, if you don't wake up from the vibration of somebody trying to get into your car to, all right, the device disconnecting or them trying to disconnect anything, three, all right, your engine starting, and then for your car moving, that is four different notifications with a very, very loud alarm at that. Um, I'm now having to turn around and go back where I was, you guys. Um, so it'll stop ringing at me. You guys need to invest in this system, man. It literally prevented my car from being stolen, man. I cannot say it enough. Guys over at CarLock are not only hooking you guys up, but protecting your Mopar. Now, they do make it for more than just Mopars, you guys. You can go to their website, and even down in the description, there is a link that you can see if it fits or works for your car. Um, I've seen Fords, I've seen Chevys, I've seen Dodge, um, and I actually haven't checked out further than that, obviously because I own a Dodge, you guys. So, outside of that, man, we're gonna get parked. I'm gonna dive into this app for you guys. I don't have my seatbelt on, so I'm sorry for that. Um, don't kill me. Um, but I have my harness um, when I race, so I actually don't have the, the seatbelt plug-in device or whatever. If you wanna send me that, send me that as well, you guys. That would be great. Um, but let's dive into that. All right, you guys, let's dive in to the app. All right, you can download it on the App Store or on Google Play. Um, if you're still using an Android, I don't know what's wrong with you, but outside of that, you can find it on both, all right? But we're gonna dive in to the app and everything that it does. All right, you guys, when you first download your app, you're gonna sign in, you're gonna use my code. 
CLT Toro 704 to purchase the actual device and then Toro 704 to get your 14 day free subscription and you will enter in all of that info. Once you do, you will come to this screen. You guys will see that you are gonna be on a map because again, it is GPS, location, all of that good stuff, right? Now, what I wanna show you is the app comes with a bunch of stuff. You come down here, you will see, all right, all sorts of things. This is your dashboard, right? And these are my statistics from June. Um, so you can see all of June, I have driven the car 552 miles, total of, wow, is that 17 hours? That is wild. Uh, but again, Atlanta traffic is crazy. I have taken 41 trips. My average speed is 31. We're not gonna talk about my top speed. I doubt that is true. I don't drive that fast. And you can see a driving score, right? This is all calculated each month, you guys. So you're looking to kind of keep track of what you have going on, the amount of time you're in the car, all that good stuff. You can do so. When you swipe over, you're gonna see your driving score. Now I get a 94, you know, I did go to college for a long time. Um, that's an A, right? So I do not, you know, I'm not mad at that. Then what you'll see is your top speed and average speed. Again, I doubt that is my top speed. I do not drive that fast, all right? Now, next thing, all right? You're gonna, again, see miles, time, and the amount of trips that you've taken. And then you can also see your GPS signal, all right? 14, I believe, is the highest. And it even checks your battery voltage. Now you can see it was at 14 and then it dropped down as soon as I turned my car off, you guys. So it checks out a lot of different stuff. The biggest thing I wanted to show you guys is the log. Now the log is something that I prefer, all right? Reason being is you can see every single trip, all right? Every single motion detected, all like literally everything, all the way down to where you were, where you parked the car. And I think it logs it for literally forever, right? So you can literally track mileage, all sorts of stuff. So not only is this good for your day-to-day, -day, right? But if you rent out cars, if you're on Toro, um, if you have a fleet of cars, you can literally keep track of them by just having your log, right? So for me, this is probably the best thing that Car Lock has on the app because you can literally see down to the second of where your car is and what's actually going on with it. Now, another key thing is the car lock tags. You guys have seen like the Apple Air tags, things of that nature that people are now sticking on your car to try and track it. You can literally buy these as a separate cost, right? And be able to track your car. Um, I do not personally have one, but I have seen it work. Um, you can check out Knockout360, um, a couple of his videos on the Apple Air tags, right? Now, here is where you get into the customization of the app. Everybody loves a little bit of that, right? So I chose blue, if you guys don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm red, green, colorblind, so that is why I use that, right? But you can change it to any color that you prefer. You can go into the icon and choose what kind of car you have. Again, I chose a muscle car, right? I don't know why anybody would change it to metric, but of course we use miles per hour here in the United States right you can change it from personal to business to be able to have tax write-offs things of that nature which i really really like um and then of course you can turn on siri now here is where you can set up all of your notifications now what you can see is you have some backup notifications right where you have five calls and five texts so if you're in a high theft area you're out of town i would definitely turn these on because not only will it send you a notification, but it can also call and text you, which can definitely save your car. But again, you only have five. Now, what you can see are my settings here. I do have a monitored circle set as small. I have my vibration, signal loss, and smart lock all enabled, which again, allow you to have those four functionalities of the device. You can also turn on harsh driving or mute them all, you guys. So you have a bunch of different settings that you can go through and you can also see you can customize all of that good stuff, man. You can see the 1320 right there. Now, when we go back to the dashboard, all right, and we go back to maps, you can see it literally can pinpoint exactly where you are. I am right next to Ted's Montana Grill. You can see the car is right there. Now, you guys know that I am in Atlanta, which is a very high theft area for these cars, right? Car lock has literally saved my car. I cannot tell you guys enough. You need 
to go get this device. All right, again, use my code CLT Toro704 for 10% off on Amazon. You'll see the link below. And then also Toro704 for your 14 day free subscription for the app. So you guys know, this is literally proven to save your car from being stolen. It can also use, be used for fleets, all sorts of things if you have multiple cars, right? Um, this literally saved my car from being stolen and I trust and have a peace of mind, all right, with this being in the car and knowing that I can park anywhere, you guys. So again, make sure you use code CLTTORO704 for 10% off on your Amazon and or CarLock website purchase. And of course, TORO704 for your 14 day free subscription to the app on the App Store or Google Play, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, man. I'll be answering every single one. I've had the car device on my car for a little over a month at this point, um, and I am enjoying every second of it because it literally helps me keep track of the car. Now, I don't let too many people drive it other than uh, Carrie. She's driven it a few times, and it literally lets me know wherever she parks it. It's going to be good, and I can alert her and even set her up on notifications as well, you guys. You guys know everything 1320 happens here. Obviously, everything comes out. But the car lock device, you guys, uh, tune in. We're going to be racing all week at Gap Fest this week, and we are out. So you guys can see, all right, they came in and busted the window out. All right. Um, you can see where they got into the glove compartment and where they tried to reprogram keys and get all into that info, man. Um, and you can still hear the glass in the door.